As we mentioned off the top this evening, it's not just on land, it's the temperatures they're seeing in the water too. Right off Florida tonight, evidence of the changing climate. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, where water temperatures are in the 90s, you're about to see the coral bleaching already. And of course, what does this mean for the worst of hurricane season still to come? Ginger is off Florida tonight. Tonight, we are diving in off the Florida Keys where the water temperatures are soaring beyond records into the low and even upper 90s on the brink of an ocean heat wave emergency threatening to wipe out Florida's coral reefs. Today, at least 44% of the globe's oceans are in a marine heat wave. We dove in with Carrie O'Neill from the Florida Aquarium to see some of the 200 corals that her team grew in an onshore lab and planted here four years ago. They're working to create new breeds of coral that can withstand higher water temperatures. They had been thriving even two weeks ago, but almost immediately we see it. The coral is now pure white, bleached, a total loss. Immediately when we went in, you saw white. I mean, um, big patches. Uh, as soon as I put my face in the water, my heart dropped into my stomach. Coral reefs are a vital natural barrier against storms. They can absorb up to 97% of a wave's energy, and they are home to countless marine species. If over tens of hundreds of thousands of years these coral have been around, people might say, well, come on, they've made it through plenty of marine heat waves. Not like this one. O'Neill says she won't quit. They will continue their work she worries. We need to take action to stop the warming of our planet or else scientists like myself will just constantly be trying to keep up with it and keep us from losing species entirely. While the observation site behind me certainly has shown and recorded those unprecedented hot water temperatures, the scientists we dove with say you don't even need that data. The coral is telling us everything we need to know. 3,000 year old coral that has withstood thousands of years of change has died or bleached in the last 10 days. They do have some hope they're going to get back to the lab and try to make coral even more resilient. David? Really eye-opening, Ginger. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.